Welcome to Project Management for Emergency Management. I am Madeline Jones. I am a data scientist with New Light Technologies. I'm also our team lead on our contract with FEMA and the Response Geospatial Office. And I'm Rob Pitts. I'm a program manager with New Light Technologies. So first we'll tell you a little about uh, where we come from and what kind of work we do. New Light Technologies is an integrated uh, IT and geospatial and research services consultancy based in Washington, DC. Uh, we offer a variety of services, including uh, cloud and enterprise IT, software development, uh, data science, analytics, and geospatial solutions, as well as research and development and, and workforce solution. And um, we're involved in a number of projects across uh, federal, state, and local governments, as well as uh, in the nonprofit and uh, private sectors, uh, integrating uh, all these uh, different areas uh, for our customers. Um, one of the areas uh, we do a lot of work in is in the emergency management and disaster response uh, sector. Um, this includes uh, building the infrastructure um, as well as applications and uh, data products uh, that are used in disaster response. Uh, we're involved in, in all phases of emergency management from uh, preparedness and resilience uh, to uh, the response phase to uh, recovery. And we also are involved in uh, building uh, you know, data pipelines to get information into the hands of decision makers uh, for all these phases. And we also uh, do training and capacity building. So uh, we're involved in a variety of, of areas uh, in uh, emergency management and public safety kinds of, of work. Um, Absolutely. And, and because our work with FEMA covers such a broad range of topics, as Rob mentioned, analytics and data management and web development, modeling, communications and training, um, we have a lot of experience um, facing some of the challenge that are, challenges that are very common in emergency management, um, such as changing priorities and um, quick turnarounds, deadlines, and um, trying to balance a lot of different projects and ad hoc work. So um, one thing we'll talk about later on is um, a case study of some of the best, uh, the best practices, <laughs> some of the best practices that we've implemented at FEMA, so. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, as you say, m managing uh, projects of any kind is, is challenging. Um, managing IT and, and geospatial kinds of projects are, are challenging and, and managing projects in an emergency management scenario are challenging. So when you've got all three, yeah. there's a real need to uh, you know, pay attention to, to this topic, which is why we're uh, uh, bringing it to this audience as part of the Inspire mm -hmm. conference. Um, so this is the, the first of, of a series of uh, vignettes that we'll be doing. Uh, this is our introduction one, um, but then we'll be going into um, uh, project management uh, challenges. And then uh, we'll do a, uh, a background on uh, project management fundamentals. And then uh, we'll take a look at tools and techniques in project management. Uh, followed by uh, the case study that we've selected uh, working for uh, FEMA. And with that, we'll do a live walkthrough of, of some of the systems that we have implemented uh, to help with project management. And then we will uh, conclude with our sort of final thoughts on uh, best practices and lessons learned from our experience. 